It's been seven years since I visited Spirulina Viva in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. This time I brought the family. The owner, Katie Colstead, showed us around. Spirulina Viva has doubled in size and added new products. Hi, I'm Katie from Spirulina Viva. We are fortunate to be celebrating 12 years of growing spirulina in Mexico. Our tanks are 42 meters long, right. um, and we have four tanks. We're probably going to harvest until the December equinox, the winter equinox, mm -hmm. um, and then take January off. But we're fortunate it's been pretty hot in Mexico, so we're, we've had a good season. Mexico is a great place to grow spirulina. Mm -hmm. the, we have amazing weather. Unfortunately, there's not enough water. Spirulina uses a lot less water than a lot of other cultures, than right. like in corn and animals right. and all. But now we're using even less water than we ever have. In our 12 years, we've had a lot of challenges. It's about solving problems day by day, figuring figuring out the best way to do a lot of different things. Because Spirulina originated in Mexico, we're so lucky to be able to promote this super food and a, its place of origin. In Mexico, there's, there's not enough spirulina. We need a lot more spirulina. We have a lot of health issues, so many chronic illnesses that We've really been able to see how people benefit from eating spirulina. There's so many ways spirulina can help you before you have health problems. You should vary how you eat spirulina so that you enjoy it every day. And if you want to make a super guacamole, incorporating spirulina into your drinks. I give all of our employees spirulina every day. They don't have many sick days. We do make cookies with it and we make chocolate, but really we're drinking a smoothie every day and a, and a juice in the morning. It's kept us really healthy. We ship in coolers to any part of Mexico on ice and we harvest the spirulina and keep it as cold as possible during the day until DHL comes by and we are shipping to all over Mexico and we have stores in all major cities or other distributors, restaurants and spirulina because it, it really is better than, than anything else you can get. I think getting kids used to eating green things is very important. Being a good example, because that's the example they're gonna follow, incorporating spirulina into your drinks as a family. We're gonna to go to next door and have spirulina treat. Are you ready for a spirulina treat? Katie showed Spirulina Viva products. And this juice I really, really like. It has a three month shelf life because it's done with HPP, which is pressure. Uh -huh. It's not heated. Jugo para super héroes. It's just orange juice and a square of our Spirulina. We just developed a shot with probiotics. This is a super shot, so evident that probiotics are so important. Probiotics and pineapple and spirulina, that's it. Our cookies that are basically like a granola bar, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, sweetened just with banana. So we're going to promote putting Spiru snacks and astronaut food in your piñata this year so you can have a healthy, healthy holiday. And the other thing we make is Mexican chocolate, 80% Mexican dark chocolate with crunchy spirulina in it gives a lovely crunch to it. The astronaut bar, it's freeze dry, just mango and spirulina. I really like it as a healthy snack for kids, or it's very light, so people who run, people who bike, find it really practical. Try this one, see if you like it, and then we'll open it. Whoa, that's so good. <laughs> I would like to thank Jean-Paul Jordan because he ha has been a great inspiration to us and we would not be here today if it were not for him. And because we knew it was possible and we said, he made it, he made it happen, we can make it happen. <laughs> we are so blessed and so fortunate to be able to do something we love and that does good for the world every day.